Right, well, we're Citadel Arts Group, and we're performing a show called The Siege of Leith Show. It's going to be performed in South Leith Church Halls on the 17th and 18th of June at 7 o'clock, and on the 19th of June at 2.30. We've got a matinee on the Saturday. Well, the place set in way back in 1560, in a period of Scottish history that not many people, even Leith people, know about. It's when Leith was a war zone. It's very complicated, but England, Scotland and France are all fighting. They're fighting over religion and they're fighting to control Scotland. French soldiers are billeted in Leith and they're being bombarded by Protestant, English and Scottish soldiers, amazingly fighting on the same side. This is like the beginning of the union between England and Scotland. And the local people are caught up living in a war zone, reduced to eating rats. And one of our characters is actually the rat catcher who's making a bit of money out of this. The play's been written by a group of older writers who are members of the Workers' Education Association Playwrights Workshop and they've rehearsed meticulously into this period with the help of a couple of local historians, Jim Tweedy and John Arthur, who gave us a walk about some of the sites where this all happened. So that's the exciting thing about this production. We're telling us the story of a piece of history in the place where these events actually took place. But it's set up by a, a character who's a kind of time-travelling character who we see in present day, actually slightly in the future in Leith. That's where it begins, that's where he's come from, and, but he's transported back to the, the 16th century. And we also meet one of his ancestors who is involved in this situation in a different way and is a kind of businessman. Um, you know, an opportunist who, who's able to take advantage of this situation. And so you meet historical characters like um, Mary of Guise, uh, King James V, um, Cardinal David Beaton, but you also meet some characters who represent the, the ordinary working people whose lives are affected by this situation as well. She comes along to Leith as the Queen, obviously. She's getting married to James V, who passes away. She becomes Queen Regent, and she's the mother of Mary, Queen of Scots, who everybody, well, I think pretty much everybody knows as a historical figure, but they don't know so much about what happened before. And it's her coming over and her reign, and the siege of Leith was down to her being in the throne and her death. So each one of us, uh, we all play uh, very well, well, several different roles. Um, so in the in the first act, uh, it's it's kind of. Uh, almost self-contained in the second act. It kind of takes themes from the first act and kind of expands on them. And um, yeah, so uh, I end up playing uh, King James V, as well as a, a French soldier, as well as an English soldier, as well as, as well as, as well as. One of the most interesting things about this whole play is it's an entire chunk of Leith's history that's gone entirely unnoticed. I mean, I grew up in Leith and I'd never heard about this story. And I think that's really one of the most important things about Leith Festival is people who live here all their lives are going to learn something new, be entertained and be educated by something that is just a fascinatingly bizarre story that's been lost in history. So it's really just bringing that back to life. So, come. <laughs> I made the rats, this is true, yes, I had a house full of rats. For a while. <laughs> and this was incredible, so I gave them all names, you know, I couldn't bear to live with them otherwise. <laughs> um, but, uh, so I had the house full of rats, which are now all neatly tied onto a string and onto a, a stick. So uh, that's just fine. So they feature quite well in the play, and they're also waterproof, which is good for today's weather. So <laughs> that worked out well. There's a lot of music and song, especially in the second half of the play. The music is all original music from the period, or we've got a, a great musician working on the show, Laura Patterson, who's written some original music, which is in the style of 16th century, and she performs it herself. So we've got some great singers in the cast, and I think everybody has to sing a song, uh, and, and, and I think that, that makes it attractive and accessible to people. There's, there's humour, there's a love story, there's violence. 